we're going to uh, talk about uh, downrigger fishing, basically fishing with downriggers. Okay, let's just show you some of the basics that you're going to need. Okay, so we'll start with the downrigger. A downrigger is basically a tool that gets your lure to a certain depth. Okay, these happen to be electric downriggers, but they, they come various types, manual, electric. Okay, so you're going to need a downrigger of some sort, and you're going to want to have at least uh, 300 feet of uh, stainless steel cable or braided cable. Okay, about 150 to 200 pound test. And then one of my favorite things is what a cannonball. Okay, a cannonball is what is going to get your lure down to a depth of up to three, four hundred feet. But generally, you'll be fishing 50 to 200 feet. Okay, that's a 15 pound cannonball. I highly recommend uh, if you do have electric downriggers to use 15 pound cannonballs. The heavier the, uh, the cannonball, the more accurate your depth will be. Okay, so you've got your downrigger, you've got a cannonball, you've got what's called a rubber snubber. So of course, if there's wave action, that's much like a shock absorber. So there won't be so much stress on the cable or the boat. Okay, that's basically uh, the downrigger. Okay, and we're going to show you what holds your line to the downrigger. Okay, it's much like uh, picture a close peg. Okay, this is called a downrigger release. Okay, you basically uh, you set your line inside here, and when the fish bites, when the fish bites, it pulls it out releasing the, your lure and the fish from the actual downrigger, so you're just fighting the fish. And downriggers are very effective to get your lure down to depth. And uh, a couple things that are very critical about the, the downrigger fishing is speed. Now speed, speed is critical when it comes to trolling. I recommend 2.5 miles per hour, 2.2 knots if you have a speedometer. If you don't have a speedo on your boat, then you can actually look at the angle of the uh, downrigger cable as you're passing through the water. And you want your downrigger cable about a 45 degree angle, and that gives you an idea that your lure is working properly. Okay, so ideally when you're trolling, you want something to attract a fish, such as a flasher, which attracts and vibrates through the water, and also gives your lure action, okay? So some of the basic lures you want to use uh, uh, nowadays is what's called a hoochie, which is uh, basically a squid, and spoons. Two real basic lures that are highly effective and very easy to use. And uh, one other thing is really important is what's called leader length. Leader length is the distance your lure is behind the flasher, okay? So as a general rule, this is real simple. Lures that don't have any action, like a big glob of rubber, which this is, you want them about three feet from the flasher, which will give it more action, okay? As this rotates, this will pump in and out. Lures that have their own action, such as spoons and plugs and bait, they have action, so you want them six feet behind the flasher, so the flasher does not give them too much action, okay?